Welcome back, first video of the year, and we're, we're back doing ra new rally cross. Uh, so as usual, I'm filming this uh, as live. Um, this one, uh, what we're going to do is we have our car, and you can see that, that it just automatically bounces off of uh, the walls when it gets to an exterior wall, and then it decides what direction it's going to go. We need to add baddies uh, in here, and so we want to kind of replicate this kind of effect. Uh, the difference is that we want to decide where we want to go at, at, at every intersection because you see at this point here it gets kind of stuck uh, unless you sort of intervene um, at the right time uh, especially when you're actually clicked on to the, the game there um, so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to create the the chaser cars for the, the baddies um, and see how that goes I guess um, but yeah, let's uh, let's get started with that. The thing I want to do first is I want to create this as a uh, prefab. So I'm going to create a folder here, cars, and I'm just going to drop the player car. Actually, I'm going to call this uh, player car uh, into there, like that. And then I'm going to make a duplicate of that, uh, and I'm going to call this uh, enemy car and player car starts off at zero 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 and um, so will enemy car so I'm just going to drop enemy car into the scene here and en enemy car starts there and I'm going to disable uh, the player car so um, the whoa Oh, can't do that, can I? Because this requires this to be active a bit. Ooh, that's the first thing to figure out. Yup. Okay. Right. Well, that's that's a bit of a problem. Um. Oh. oh I've completely broken this. Sidebar score. Oh right, of course, because this hasn't been set in enemy car. Okay, so I don't need the car fuel gauge. So let's let's tidy this one up first for the enemy car. Um, so um, actually, let's go to the project first of all. Empty enemy car. So the player shape. The first thing is the player shape. Uh, the sprite. I don't want that as the sprite. I want this as the sprite because uh, it's the enemy car sprite. And then the other thing is I don't want the fuel gauge here, so I want to remove that component. I do want the box collider here, um, and the player shape is that, that's fine, and enemy car is that. And then the locomotion script, I'm going to make a duplicate of that as well. So um, I'm going to have player, and then we've got a locomotion script there. Um, I'm going to create another one here, so this is going to be create a folder uh, enemy, uh, and I'm just going to call this enemy locomotion. And this is going to be for now a direct copy of locomotion. So I'm going to uh, locomotion, and I'm going to go grab all that. And um, paste that in there, and then call this enemy locomotion. Uh, and that should fix everything there. Um, the thing that we don't want it to do is we don't want to um, we don't want to check to see the key presses and things in there. Um, so we need to figure that out, but we'll leave that yield return there. Leave that in there. And what else do we need to comment out here? Oh yeah, if not paused. Uh, let's do... Actually, you know what? Let me just uh, comment out all of this. Uh, and then change that to void start. 
Um, pardon me, because because I, I I don't want it to start immediately. Uh, unlike the player that starts uh, and then find direction, we can keep in there. So that's enemy locomotion. That's that done. Um, so now um, enemy locomotion. The nice thing is we can change the icon on that. So we'll make it red, and we'll give it a red dot. Uh, yeah, red thingy, diamond thingy uh, for the enemy locomotion. So we go into here and instead of having that locomotion script, we're going to drag that over there. Uh, make sure it's 1919. Uh, and then none tile map and then the player shape is going to be the player shape. Like that. And then we remove locomotion. Remove component. Okay. So now we've got a completely independent um, Uh, we get the player car there, and then underneath the player car we have the the red car. So our game should now have no errors in it. Good. Okay. And if I go back down here, we should see the red car. Uh, where's the enemy car? Oh, it's a way up here, that's why. Uh, enemy car zero zero. Okay. Uh, oh, 19 minus 54. Okay, so that's going to be 19 minus 58, because I think it's like 50. It's like four behind it. Yeah, there you go. It's just out of scene. Okay, in fact, is that right? So I go to scene and scroll down to here. Yeah, there we go. So that's where the enemy starts from. They start from behind. So there's usually, I think, that the starting levels there's like three there, and then there's five uh, in the the sort of the, the later levels of the game. Um, and then um, we really want to decide where we want to go to next. That's the sort of the, the next part of this. Um, so let's get coding that now. So I think what we're going to do is instead of having this inside, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to cut this out of here like that. And then I'm going to have a um, void um, start. Um, uh, Start the engine for lack of a. Uh, that's going to be public uh, and then private. It's um, um, uh, engine running. Okay, now we put that in there and we're going to do yield return. So we're not going to do anything in there just now, but we're going to do start coroutine engine running. Okay. Um, uh, what's happening here? Uh, right. I enumerator. Uh, engine running. Right, so that's that uh, in there. And now um, we need to be able to start the enemy. So inside our player locomotion, which is getting really bloated, do we need to have it as this? Um, player car. Um, main camera, camera follow. Player car. I mean, does I yeah, maybe it just needs to be on here. Um, we want to pause the game for like three seconds, then we want to start the the game, and then we want to um, start the enemies. So I'm gonna create a. Um, what 
just be under general. Yeah, general. Uh, no, maybe not. Uh, enemy. Um, yeah, let's create it in here. Uh, and then call it game controller. Okay. And then game controller, I'm going to add a, a new object here. Called game controller, um, and I'm going to drag that onto there, and I'm going to give this a green circle, um, so that I can see it in there. So let's put it at zero zero zero, and our game controller. Let's have a um, Public locomotion uh, player. Um, private enemy enemies. Um, and then do void start. Go routine. Um, Um, and then we're going to do numerator uh, down. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this, by the way, is uh, somebody pointed out uh, in one of the comments not to use I enumerator for the start. Um, it was bad practice to do like updates in, so I'm I'm, I'm not going to do that from now on. Um, but yeah, that's the, the reason why I'm doing this. So it's a little bit more code. Not much, but a little bit more code. So we want to do uh, yield turn. Uh, we want to wait three seconds here. Then we want to say player dot uh, resume. Um, let's do uh, player pause, uh, and then for each. Enemies, uh, enemy, oh, pause. So we're going to pause everybody. And then yield return. Wait for a second. One. Enemy and enemies. So fairly straightforward, we're going to wait for three seconds, resume the player, in other words, start the player, uh, and then wait for another second, then start the enemies. And that's our game controller, really. Um, and let's call that center. So game controller needs uh, the player. And it needs enemies, which is just one enemy just now. Um, and can I stop the player just now? Um, commotion. Paused. Let's do. Let's do paused equals true. Because we don't want to, to run it just now to start with. And then the same thing for enemy locomotion. Where's our enemy? Um, so we'll do that. Uh, so we go to locomotion, game controller. So we don't need this part here, we just need to start that. Um, because it's gonna the the player's gonna start paused. So there's gonna be a three second pause here. Um, actually, let's put um, public oh, private put game delay. Um, and private put enemy. Not delay. Uh, 
let's make this a little bit more extensible. So if we go into our game control now we can just wait for a second. We don't need to wait for three seconds, but we can vary that if we want. There we go. And then the other player will start um, as soon as it uh, is ready. Of course it's not going to do anything just now, but it will in a second. Okay, so that's our game um, controller started there. Uh, and the game controller I think we're going to end up using quite a bit because we need to pause enemies when the player um, when the player uh, picks up the you know the the um, the fuel gauge uh, bonus uh, we need to pause the player the enemies for that so that's another good reason for having a, a game controller here oh there is one thing actually uh, because there's one there we could probably do like a um, should we do a cheeky I mean we could have like a circular dependency but I think that would be bad Hmm. Or a singleton might be bad. Hmm. Let's. I'll. I'll think about that. <laughs> so for our enemy locomotion, what we want to do is we're gonna have while true, blah blah blah, all that kind of stuff. So um, this is gonna untangle there, and then it's gonna say while all of that is there, blah blah blah, and then requested direction is this. Um, but the requested direction is only after this part here so we don't need any of this part we just need to update this uh, request a direction equals direction. Okay, so we get rid of all of this like that, and then um, we check to see this is the the check part here, and then we check to see the directions. Okay. Um, but I think we also need to have a reference to the player here. Private transform. Uh, let's do locomotion player. I think I think we do. <laughs> I'm putting it in here just now in the hope that we're going to get to use it. Maybe not, uh, but for the enemy car here, um, I'm going to add the player car to there. So hopefully what we have now is enough to have the... Uh, let's have a look back again. So we took out all of this because we, we don't need this to decide. In fact, let's just do that there. Uh, in fact, we can take out this bit here and put that there so that this only becomes the, the travel portion of it. Um, and then um, I think this bit actually should be in here anyway because otherwise we, we, it's going to wait until it pauses to, to readjust itself, maybe that's okay. And then the next part here, this part here, is the, the important part, which is the find... Excuse me. <laughs> my, my voice went weird there. Um, is find the next direction. Um, and that's the bit that we might have to rewrite. In fact, that's the bit that we are going to have to rewrite. Uh, but for now, we should have this car moving by itself. So let's uh, no, we don't. Why don't we have that car moving by itself? Um, be 
because we don't call the start the engine, that's why. So inside locomotion, uh, let's do paused equals false. That there, and then inside our game controller, uh, for each enemy we want to do start the engine. Okay. That makes sense. So this is our enemy AI for it's not AI. It's like the dumbest uh, thing ever. They're essentially they, they chase the player and they, they act as like kind of blockers. Uh, nope, that didn't like that. Okay. Okay. Why is that not set? Oh, the tile map's not set. Okay. Um... Where's the tile map? That's the grid there. Tile map is there. Okay. So if we go to there and then we do um, background tile map. Uh, I mean, there's only one tile map, so. There we go. So we have our enemy AI. Now, the, the enemy is actually um, a wee bit slower than the player. So I think what we can do is we can speed him up a wee bit. Um, so we go to locomotion. Uh, so we have that there. So I'm going to change this inside here to say... Uh, 0.25 so it's going to be a quarter of the time that it takes to do it so that means that it's, they're faster than a lot fast, well yeah faster than the, the default speed yeah that looks about right so if we go up here Where did the other player go? Where did the enemy go? Uh, let's find out where the enemy car. Enemy car center. Uh, oh, he's way down here. Oh, he's stuck down here. Okay. Well, at least we know he's stuck down there. So he can't. So he doesn't have any logic to get out of there. Um, so we're gonna give him a choice. So instead of favoring um, back the way you came, we need to decide if you can move to the left or the right, uh, and that's what we need to do now. Um, so let's crack on and do that. So let's give it some basic rules here. So these, that's nah. Nee. We don't need that. Uh, so let's say um, basic rules are um, if the player is above car and car can go north, go north. If the player is below car and car can go south, go south. If the player is west of car and car can go west, go west. Um, if player go east, go east. So that's the kind of basic thing there. So we need to figure out where um, the positions are. So um, there's this one here, get test positions. What is that? Uh, what 
always get test positions again. Oh, get vertical, get... Uh, are they public or private? Those are private. Why are they private? I want them public. Well, it's easy because I wrote this and I can make them public. Okay. So, I want to do get horizontal and get vertical. Okay. Um, so, in my enemy thing, I want to say um, um, vertical. Uh, equals position plus dir. What's dir? Uh, oh, uh, is the actual direction. Um, but I know the direction, don't I? Directions are right, down, left, up. But is there is um. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, block position direction. Okay. Um, get vertical. Um, wait. Uh, position equals that. New vector i. Vector in three. What did I? Why did I write this? <laughs> why? Why is this coordinate system so awful? So the block position is that, um, and then we're going from zero to three. This makes no sense. I mean, it's working, but it. Um, this is what happens when you you uh, you don't read your code for weeks, maybe months later, uh, and then you read it and you're like, I don't know what this does. <laughs> and you look for the git blame and you find out it's you, and you're like, oh right, yeah, it was me. Okay, so what is this doing? So it says get test positions. So if y is less than zero or y what what Uh, 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 that makes no sense. Um, okay, let's just do this this way. All right. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> so we want to see if. It's a hit for the positions. So let's let's see what happens when it actually hits. Because this is the enemy lo locomotion, we can we can figure it out. It's, it's relatively straightforward. Um, all right, because it's going to wait until the 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 next cell. Um, so we should have to wait for like sixteen pixels, and then it'll just uh, hit that breakpoint. 
after we wait for it to co to compile. Oh, this isn't going to work, is it? It's... Oh, no. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Doesn't take too long to hit. Okay, so the direction is the actual index is that. All right. Um, this could be written a lot easier, but whatever. Um, so it goes through and checks the positions, and then the positions are uh, 57, 58, and 59. So these are, I mean, it's 57, 58, and 59. And then it checks to see if it hits that position and if it does I oh, just need to check to see if it's going north okay so it's gonna hit north okay all right I, th I think I see what's going on here so uh, this is the part that we need to, to rewrite here um, We want to see if it doesn't hit there. Um, and then players above the car, we want to go that way. And um, but we want it. See, it's bouncing from left to right there. All right, let me let me have a think about this. Yeah. Right, here's here's the problem: is it just immediately says, "Okay, take this hit and then move it down to here." What I'm going to do is I'm going to create an enemy locomotion for different um, uh, and add different behaviors uh, to the 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 player uh, to the enemy. Um, but this is going to be the first one, and it's basically going to be a random direction. So what I'm going to is create uh, vector three. Is it vector three? Uh, vector two. Uh, directions there, and then we're going to say dot add direction. Okay, and then we're going to say return direction uh, directions. Uh, and we want to do add that. So we want to do return directions, uh, directions dot length dot count uh, random. Uh, what's random? System dot random. Uh, NT engine dot random. Um, next. Range, random range. Range. And it's going to be zero, comma, directions dot count. Uh, and I think that one does random in within min inclusive max exclusive so that works for that so what that means is it shouldn't get stuck it should just decide to at some point unstick itself um, and it, we're gonna um, extract that out and put that in its own um, its own thing like the brain um yeah see it's slightly yeah so um um what we want to do is we want to say though if 
if the direction if it contains the current direction just re just go in that direction um, if oops if what if contains direction return direction uh, and then we remove that one there so if it includes that direction then we're going to return that direction otherwise um, we return a random direction so that should mean that it's going to keep going north yep there you go Where's it going to go now? Oh, there you go. So we have a random car. He's off. He's gone. <laughs> Don't know where he's gone. Um, oh, there he goes. There we go. And what happens when we get to the other end here? Oh, he's off. He's way up that way now. Alright, so we have a random one. I think that's that's good enough for the first one. Uh, the next one that we need to do is we need to uh, make it less random. <laughs> uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is clean this out because we don't need all that stuff there. Uh, the find next direction, uh, we're going to have to uh, take this into like a brain. Um, so let's call this um, what's the best thing to do here? I think I can do this. I'm pretty sure I can. Okay. So if I go to here, um, enemy, and then let's call this um, brain. Enemy brain. We don't need all that. Um, uh, now, do we need it to be? I don't think we need it to be this here. Um, we probably need a brain factory, but that's about it. Public static. Um, oh, um, Right. Uh, e brain type. And let's make that enum. And we'll have random. Because that's the only type that we have now. And then in our enemy brain. Uh, we'll have um, public static um, we want a function we really just want a function don't we um, function and then we take in a vector 2 and we return a vector 2 um, get brain Enemy brain type. Um, switch. Case. Uh, random. Uh, direction. It's going to be all of this stuff here, isn't it? So, with the enemy location, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and then it's all of this.
Um, and the default is going to be uh, return um, that. Just return a bleh direction. Um, and then system. That. Oh shoot. Okay. And then we need to have our directions up here. So we're gonna have to enemy locomotion. We take that out. Uh don't need that. Let me just comment out for just now. Uh Uh, static, okay. So we need to know the tile map as well. And uh, we need to know that's going to be random, unity random. And then we need to pass in the position in the tile map as well. So it's not just a vector two, it's going to be a tile map. Um, and what else? A position. Uh, Direction, tile map, position. So tile map is going to be there, and position is going to be there. Vector two. Okay. So that is our thing there. So, um, any locomotion is that? Uh, find next direction. Okay. So we need to have a, um, private function um, letters in the postcard if this is the right way to do this I mean it's it, it works for me um, for this particular thing maybe it's maybe it's kind of overkill but uh, it works for me so uh, we need vector to tile map map vector to um, and then we're going to call this find next direction of the enemy car uh, which is actually that and then um, in our start function we're going to say find that equals enemy brain dot get brain random and that should fix this oh yeah because we need to pass in uh, tile map and position grab that there grab that there and that should be it so we got our enemy brain here um, so a random one there is this. Um, okay. Let me 
screen types is that. Location is that. And oh, rid of that. Um, and we can get rid of all of this. Um, okay, let's see if that that works. I would say let's see if that works because then if it doesn't work, I get to debug things. And it's working so far. Let's see if we can catch up on them. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, random. Let's see where he goes here. And he's coming back this way. And he's going down here. Oh, he's along there. That's working great. There we go. I feel like I'm chasing this enemy car rather than actually <laughs> avoiding him, but there we go. Um, Alright, that's great. Um, I think the next thing is getting him on the radar. So the sidebar, oh, how do we do this again? Okay, the sidebar needs to have the player indicator, uh, radar blob player dot, and then um, okay, flag type special yellow red. Okay, um, <clears throat> and we want to update. It. Where's the update? There's an update here. Okay, here's the update here. Um, well, it's not ready. Instant shape, blah, blah, blah. Flags, position equals that. All right, so we need to do the same thing for player, player dot. Uh, player dot, where's player dot? Player dot is that. Where is that getting set? Oh, initially, okay. Um, so we're going to have private Bob uh, enemy. She likes field. Um, and then we need to have a private um, radar blob enemies. Enemy, enemy dots. Okay, and then we get our enemies from um, private uh, game controller. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do. Uh, for each or me in enemies uh, we don't have an enemies just yet but we will in a second so we need to have a public enemy property and we want to have um, uh, those new radar blob so I want that there and um, actually, let's do four because we need to uh, add it to the the index of that. Um, and then we're going to say blah, 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 blah. Uh, enemy controllers enemies dot transform. Enemies uh, I dot transform, and it's going to be 
enemy radar prefab. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. So, uh, uh, for that, there goes that. And then we're going to say, um, enemy dots i dot transform dot local position equals and then uh, and then it's going to be game controller enemies zero actually let me not do that let me do it as enemy um, so this is going to be enemy locomotion. Oops, is that? And let's make that an I, because it could be more than one. Um, and then instead of enemy grid position, we're going to do that and that. Um, and that should be it for there. And then inside the editor. We're going to go and grab the sidebar and we should have a none in there for game controller so we drag in game controller and then our radar um, we do have prefabs kicking around here so cars collectible sidebar and then there's a radar blob there um, and do I is that all there is there? What's the player one? Hold on. Sidebar. Non radar blob. Radar blob is that one there? Uh, do I just use that? Do I just reuse that? I think I do. Yeah, I just reuse that. Okay. So let's just reuse that one then. Um, so we do this one here, uh, and uh, instead of the prefab radar blob, where's our radar blob? Oh, that's the update there. Yeah, so instead of that one, it's just the pre player radar re radar. Clear radar, radar prefab, and that. But we want to say um, uh, radar uh, player dot is that. Oh, we don't know what to do that. Hold on. We want to say um, enemy dots i equals that. And then we want to say enemy dots i dot set colors uh, and then be color dot dark red brown and the images of red all right okay let's just make it red then so we're making a copy of the enemy prefab so you don't need that there uh, enemy radar prefab don't need that there um, we've got these here because we need the enemy dots and then um, the flags they don't need to update that's why we don't, we don't actually keep them that keep a reference to them but we do need to know these ones here and then the enemy dots transform is that there okay so um, this should probably do it for this video actually because it's going on a bit um, so let's see where we got now so no, we don't have it. Why don't we have it? Uh, let's see why we don't have it. Um, let's attach that there and then run it. Enemies, set color, 
Oh, is that red? Radar bulb. Colors red. Yep. And then in here, enemies that. Blah, 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 blah. Local position is that. Local position is 30 minus 108. Yeah, that looks right. Um, I don't need to do any special things, do I? Um, don't think so. Yeah, because the player dot is just that there. Um, instantiate, and you want to instantiate it at. Uh, Oh, that's why. I want to parent it to the transform of the radar, and I made a boo boo there. Okay, <laughs> I guess it's got it. It has to, it has to parent to the radar, not to the actual th object itself, or else it just goes for a trip around the the, the world map. So this will <laughs> fix that. Uh, there we go. There's our little red uh, one there, and you can see these overtaken there. So now we can see where the, the little red dot is going to bring this up a little bit. So you can see that the red dot is bouncing off the walls there. Let's make that a brown colour because it should be a bit darker. Um, new colour dot. Uh, and it's going to be 0 0.6. 0, 0, 0. It should be more of a brown colour, because um, I think it is in the original. What? Oops. Right, here we go. There we go. A little bit darker colour, because it should be kind of muted compared to the, the rest of them. There we go. Okay. So now we can see uh, where the, the, the enemies are. And you can see where they're they're gonna track into as well. So yeah, that's uh, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, thank you very much for watching, and hope you you like the content and all that. I uh, hope you had a good time over the festivities, and uh, I will catch you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button as well, and do all that kind of good stuff to help the the algos uh, for the channel. That would be fantastic. Thank you again. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers now. Bye-bye.